Welcome, this is a 10 minute body and mind reset. Come and join me on your mat. Welcome, bring your hands to your legs, lengthen up through your spine. If you wanna put something under your hips for support, feel free to do that. Inhale, sigh that out. Do that one more time, inhale fully. And sigh that out. Send one ear towards one shoulder. Rotate that down through the midline and all the way slowly to the other side. And take the head back down towards the heart, one vertebra at a time. Let the head come all the way back up. And shake off any clutter, just like let that go. Whew. Coming into a child's pose, uh, knees can be padded on a towel or a blanket. Reach your arms forward, hips back, and then add a little slow shimmy. Rotate one side of the rib cage up as the other goes down, and then reverse that. So the knees can be together or separated. You'll probably feel a little different through the stretch if the knees are apart versus together, but it's totally up to you. And then coming up to all fours, Tuck your toes under, downward facing dog, pedal that out. Lengthening through the back of the legs and the spine and just giving yourself an opportunity to feel what it is like to have your hands down on the ground, to ground down and then relax the neck. So no tension through the jaw or the neck. Lower the knees down here. Step your right foot forward. If you like to use blocks on either side of your foot, you can. And then allow the pelvis to come forward. You might have to heel toe your right foot a little more forward until you feel something, some nice, sweet stretching sensation across the front of your hip, maybe into the quad. Top of the back foot can be down or toes tucked. What feels best? Breathe here. And then if you wanna bring up a little height, you can, bringing the torso up and possibly lifting the arms. Arms can kind of go wherever that feels right for you, even interlacing if you want a big opening through the chest and the shoulders. Inhale, exhale, fingertips come down to the floor, shift back into half Hanumanasana, so it's a half split. Spread your toes out wide, and then draw your right hip crease back a little bit more. You can even cross over to the left side of your mat with the hips a little bit to increase the sensation to the side of the right leg. Come back to center, bend the knee, and then put the knee down. Downward dog or child's pose. So this is a 10 minutes just for you, and you want to decide, all right, what's going to feel better? And then do that. Lower the knees. Let's put the left foot forward with or without blocks. Breathing here, allowing the pelvis to draw to a comfortable spot. <clears throat> Top of the foot or tucked. And then if you want a little bit more opening through the chest and action through the torso coming up and maybe bringing the arms into it in whatever feels good. So be kind of just do an exploratory movement until you go, yeah, jackpot, that's it. That's where I need to be. Inhale, exhale, fingertips come down and shift back. So these are great movements. All of these poses are great movements if you've been sitting a lot. Um, and also if you just need to get a little more grounded, closer to the floor. Spread the toes out, maybe scoot the hips over to the right and increase a little more of the outer side of the left leg stretch. Keep breathing. And back to center, bend the knee and take it back to all fours. And you know this is a downward dog or a child's pose. For those of you who take vinyasas regularly and that sounds good for you, then you can come into plank and work down maybe through a cobra or an upward dog. And then coming back slowly to a downward dog. I'm not going over that today because this is just a quick a reset. Um, so you would look into maybe some of my other videos that have an explanation of that. And in fact, I'll link um, my how to take vinyasas, that kind of thing up above. Deep breath in, big sigh out. Bend the knees as you walk your hands back. And we're just gonna work the legs here for a moment with the knees bent, shift a little further back and roll one vertebra. So we're recreating our alignment all the way up to standing. 
We'll bloom the shoulders gently back, head comes over the shoulders, the pelvis, the feet, inhale, and sigh that out. Take the feet wide, and we'll just start to lazily let the arms swing. So we're bringing blood flow to the end circulation, to the fingertips. Let the opposite heel, then the way that you're twisting, let that lift. And then we'll make that a little smaller, a little smaller, a little smaller. Sometimes when we do movement that's like, we don't have a care in the world, it actually sends a message that we can relax a little bit more. Take your feet underneath you, bring your hands to your heart. Deep breath in and sigh that out. We'll take the feet wider than last time again. Turn your left set of toes out, come into your warrior two. So this is a reset, but we really do wanna find this grounding activity through the feet and this strengthening activity through the legs. Let your arms dangle in front of you. And then just like they're rising to the surface of water, let them rise up. And then from the center of your heart, put some energy through the fingertips and gaze over the front fingers. Live heartily in your legs, trust yourself and breathe. Bring yourself focus. And then we'll straighten everything up, turn the toes forward, reach up, and we'll come to the other side. But let's let the arms float down first. I know that's a little weird. And then rotate other knee out. Your roughly heel to arch alignment, hang the arms down, and here's where we will let the arms rise to the surface of water, reach through, gaze over what is now your front fingertips, and breathe here, active in the legs, focused, focused on how you want your day to go, how you want your breath to come in and out. And then straighten the leg, reach up, turn the toes forward, exhale, bring your hands to your heart. If you're very wide, heel toe in at least a little bit, reach out and either march back in or bend the knees and hop in with bent knees. Okay, we're gonna do that two more times, either marching or not. Out and in, out and in. And then stand up tall, hands over heart center, breathe. Come to the top of your mat, inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold, you might bend the knees there. Rise halfway up, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, take it back to a plank pose. Let's just create a little bit of heat here. Remind ourselves that we're really strong and maybe we'll put our knees down if we need a little bit less activity. And if you want, rocking this a little forward and back, integrating a little bit more core strength, shoulder, upper body work. Three, two, one child's pose or downward dog. You can rest here or take another vinyasa if you need a little bit more activity. Breathing is key, so that's number one. And we'll come up to a seated posture, possibly adding some height of a blanket or a towel underneath the sitting bones. And we'll take one leg out at an angle. So instead of kind of facing it forward, we're gonna take it out at an angle and then take our bodies and just twist a little bit in that direction. So this might be plenty of work, plenty of stretch for a lot of us. If you want to begin to come down towards that leg, use a strap or hands down or even holding on, breathe here. Opening up that back diagonal side of the back there, top of the iliac crest, just breathing. You don't have to put your nose on your knee to be doing really good, beneficial yoga. Inhale, come all the way up. And just switch sides. Other leg comes out. A Little bit of that torso rotation towards the extended leg. Inhale. Exhale, maybe a lean. Maybe you have your strap. You can always use like a robe if you have a bathrobe. You can use a robe tie for that too or a belt. Breathing here. So this side for me in the back is a lot tighter. So I'm gonna really find my breath and try to not forcefully take myself towards the leg. So we're working, obviously we're stretching the leg, but also we're kind of getting more bang for our buck in that back body. Inhale, come all the way back up. Bring the legs together. 
in your cross-legged position. And if you have tighter hips, you're gonna stay just like this. If your hips are much looser, you're going to take your legs forward and make a triangle in the middle of space or put one leg on top. And any amount will come into a forward fold or just a seated breathing pose here. So you're nurturing the spine and the hips, the nervous system, so by finding that breath and letting your whole body know you're safe here. Inhale, come back and switch sides. If you're a little tighter on the second side, since it probably is um, your tighter side since you didn't choose it first, then maybe don't take the torso down as far or don't stack the leg. Whatever allows you to nurture both sides and treat them like they're not the same because they're not. Breathing here. Inhale, coming all the way back up. Bring the legs forward and shake it out. Coming on down to the back. Hug the knees in. Rock a little side to side. And Shavasana. Hands where you want them, whatever feels good. Just take a moment and feel yourself with complete support of the earth beneath you. Let the organs move freely on the breath. And thank yourself for taking the time, even if it's only 10 minutes, recognize just how impactful 10 minutes really can be on our bodies, on our mental and emotional states. Um, I just wanna give you a big thanks for choosing Lizzie Brooks Yoga and Fitness. I know that there are a million different choices, so it means a lot that you chose this class. And please hit like and subscribe so that um, this channel might be found by more people over time. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.